a like Dia, so I feel like he's just gonna have to play his own game. Dia will play his own game, which I think would result in a really good series. Yeah, I hope so. I hope you're right. Um, disappointing for Hero. He uh, he showed us such class in Cologne and obviously a Dreamhack Winter last year, and it, it seemed like, you know, from the previous year, he won Dreamhack Winter, and everyone was like, oh wow, it's another big team liquid player. He's gonna go on a massive run. Didn't really hit a run. Mm. Had to wait until the end of 2013. Then he wins Dreamhack Winter. Then he comes back and wins uh, Intellect Dream Masters Cologne, and you think, hey, now maybe this year really is his year. And yet again, Apollo hit the nail on the head early on before the game, and he said, some days he's hot, yeah. some days he's cold, and today he was cold. He was a bit, uh, you know, he, he's different. It, it wouldn't be fair if Team Liquid had two players that can just consistently <laughs> win every tournament. Like, they already have Tejan, he can basically come out every tournament and possibly win. Hero is a little bit more off and on, he's a little bit more emotional, and I think that helps to balance out the team, so. <laughs> I, you know, I'm okay with that, but you know, it, it's hard on him because he does have the skill to kill yeah. off anybody. It's just, you know, sometimes he doesn't quite bring it. And I, I think especially against someone like Deer, I think that's a bad matchup for Hero overall yeah. because he chooses his build and he just, he tries to go for it and he sometimes does overcommit. But Deer, I feel like he wins the game when this hallucinated phoenix flies over your stuff. I don't care what matchup it is, but he like re-verifies what he thinks you're doing, which he's already countering, and then he's just like, oh yeah, okay, I can kill you, cool. It's, that, that's gonna be hard for someone like Hero that kind of plays more on the edge of his seat. Okay, um, let's just take a little moment to talk about the quarterfinals. We've got matches coming up this afternoon, of course. Uh, we did mention earlier on, you can uh, watch the SOS match with Nathaniel, so you won't actually miss the game itself. Uh, we won't be showing that here on the main stage. We do have quite a lot of games to get through, of course. Um, tomorrow we're going to have CJ Enters Hero versus San and Polt versus Did. That's already an incredible quarterfinal. And we've still got the bottom half of the bracket to go today. Oh, it's God. insane. It's, uh, they're such good matchups. I don't even. I yeah. can't wait for both of those. They're both so epic, so hard to predict. Anyone could come out of that. Okay. Uh, these two have currently had uh, some interesting predictions, but Artosis right now. You have a perfect record, my friend. I believe I do. I believe you do. I'm and just I, I'm I think I'm the only one because I think you uh, are the only one. myself and In Control both bet on that last one yeah. for Deer, so and, he didn't uh, get them all before. And, and Mr. Apollo over I here. I got two and two. Yeah, you're two and two. Yeah, right you're now. you're, you're a coin flip, just like the community. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. I think, I think you just got called out, community, uh, by Artosis. <laughs> so if you think you know better, you think oh, you can catch up. Oh, it's working, guys. And I'm sitting on Dipanyu. Отлично. Все, ребята, наконец-то все восстановилось. Обновляйтесь, запускайтесь. Фу. Надеюсь, все так и останется. Одну игру мы пропустили, к сожалению, из-за этого. 